Right, hi. Uh, okay, I'm going to have a look at uh, Groove Rider. I've been meaning to do this video for ages, but every time I try, it just goes on for hours. So I'm going to try and do Groove Rider in under 10 minutes, because otherwise I'll just be blathering on for hours. So, Groove Rider, great groove box. If you've got uh, one of the new Electribes, Electribe 2s, then this is almost exactly the same. In fact, using this has taught me how to use my Electribe 2, which is a which is an accolade in and of itself. So, 16 pads. Uh, when you when you find when you open up a uh, an empty session, there's a default kit loaded in. Um, so, all right. So let's just um, let's build up a pattern. That's probably the quickest and easiest way to introduce uh, Groove Rider to you. So if I start off, I've got a on the on the beat kick going on, um, and if I select that part, you can see I've got sequence enabled at the moment. So you can see I can put it in as a step sequencer. And if I move to the next part, which is the snare part, I can, I can stick in a couple of snares. And you can build up your entire sequence using this step sequence if, you, if that's the way you like to do it. Um, I generally don't. I tend to go to trigger and play by hand. So let's, uh, find, a, let's find some sounds I don't dislike. Okay, so if you go to the uh, wave button, this is where you get all your samples. And I'm going to just play that. That's quite, quite like that one. And if I go to the next part here, I'm going to pick a different snare. That'll do. And if I go across to the hat, I'm going to pick uh, a closed and an open 808 snare. Oh, my hat, sorry. Okay, and now, now you'll notice at the moment the open hi-hat is not choking the closed hat and vice versa, which I hate. So I can get that done if I go to the parts menu here. Um, just turn that off, go into the parts menu. Uh, part, exclusive group, make that exclusive group one. Make that also exclusive group one. So now, now, I've, now I'm, this is now choking this. And now I can play in my hat parts. All right, now I've still only got the one bar going on here. So let's, let's change this to a four bar pattern. So if I go to the pattern menu, go to length, change that to four bars. And now it's automatically uh, sent that over the four bars. And if I go to my snare part here on the fourth, go to sequence. Uh, sorry, snare part, there we go. I'll put a little, little break on the bottom there. I've done that on the wrong bar. Okay, so, so far, so drum machine. It's uh, that's pretty standard. Right, so, what also what you have with Groove Rider, which is the, the glory of uh, the Electribes also, is it's a, a synth. So let's pick on one of the synth parts here. You can see here I've got a saw, a saw wave, and I can pick a different wave. So I've got a saw, pulse, triangle, sine plus FM. And all of these have their own separate edits on them. Uh, so pulse wave, for instance, here. It's got a unison mode there at the bottom, and sounds like pulse wave modulation through, going through here at the top. So it's quite a nice sound. Okay, stick with that one. I'll pitch it down. Um, the developer very kindly made made the uh, pitch button here snap to semitones now, so it's much easier to get it into the right sound. Um, so you've got a filter you can apply to that. So let's have a. Let's, uh, now you can modulate all sorts of things with all sorts of other things. So let's 
uh, modulate the uh, edit one if I can oscillator uh, oscillator with LFO let's have a depth bit I've not got some movement going on in the oscillation there. All right, so a lot of it's just experimentation with this stuff. Now, um, if I want to play something in here, I could program it in, but it's much easier to click the keys button. Because now I can play. Um, you can change the key that you want to play in. Um, I'll just stick with this one. Right? Now you can also record mo uh, movement into this, so uh, if I... So you can get quite a lot of movement into, into things. And I can uh, add in some effects. We've got all the different effects here. Let's have uh, a ring modulator. Let's uh, add some MFX, which I think is reverb by or delay by default. Bizarre pattern and a strange sound. Um, okay, now I can. Uh, you can switch poly on and off, so you can actually play poly on the keyboard here. Or if you've got a, uh, a separate MIDI keyboard, that actually makes life a lot easier as well. You can also play chords directly into this stuff. So if I um, let's go back to trigger, pick something new, go to chords, and go to keys. Right now, I can either pick another. Uh, oscillator and make a basically another synth sound or I can actually go in and uh, pick a an instrument also so let's pick an instrument uh, really quite, <laughs> quite cheesy samples Uh, so now I can uh, let's, let's put some effects on that because it's horrible. Uh, let's put a bit crusher on it. Turn the MFX right up. Now, the funny thing about this is I, I find that when I first came to it, I was thinking, oh, you know, is that all the parts you can have? And then I realized that once you've got that three or four parts in, you're done. Uh, they're, they're, you cannot fit any more in. So um, it's a terrific little groove box. Um, and you can just play around with it for hours. Uh, I do like the, the speed of it. Um, and I do like the fact that it's taught me so much about my Electro. 
There's lots of other features which I haven't gone into. You've got an arpeggiator here. Um, it's got this chords button, which I haven't really used much, all the slice, all the jump. So there's there's quite a few bits you can use for, for performance, for playing around with stuff. Um, but uh, if you're looking for something to um, lay down uh, grooves with, you can, it's, it's a very capable drum machine. It's got an awful lot of really good samples in it. And then for, for bass lines and stuff, you can get a lot of movement in there. So it's uh, for banging, banging dance tracks, it's definitely the one to buy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cheers.